Hello friends, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. I hope you're all doing great and for anyone new to the channel as always my name is Lee also known as Osiris. In today's episode we are continuing on with our X9 Draft League. We're going into week 9. We are so close to finishing up the first portion of this tournament and hopefully we can make it into playoffs. Kind of hinges on today's game though. So it all comes down to this one and, and potentially next week's as well. But this week we are going into week nine, like I say, and we are playing the battle room, Colin and his Milwaukee Mowiles. And it's going to be a really great battle because uh, Colin is an amazing battler. Keeping this one a little bit shorter. But first, before we get into the match and setting it up with Colin, I just want to say make sure you do check things out from Colin's side of the battle. His YouTube and all his socials will be linked down in the description below. And uh, all I'll say is I hope you enjoy today this episode friends so without further ado we'll be back in one more when we link up with colin right we are just getting into the battle now with colin obviously uh check out the battle from colin's side of the field all his links to his socials will be down in the description as always it's good to get the perspective from colin uh, always from the other side and especially because colin is such a good battler so we've got a team ready to go here we go week nine locking in so he's got the blasters of zapdos Comma O, oh, interestingly enough. Uh, the Nihiligo, Hatterene, and Grimmsnarl. Okay, so he's got the Trick Room mode in there. Potentially Trick Room on the Hat on the Nihiligo. Complicates things, but there's no Togetic, which makes me feel a lot better because we don't have that redirection, which is great. Kind of tempted to go with the Mimikyu Ice Q. The only thing that puts me off here is the Blastoise, which I could definitely see coming, but potentially not because I think you probably go Zapdos. Grimmsnarl as the lead. And then that means we could probably go uh, Mimikyu, uh, Ice Q. Um, I'm actually going to lead Ice Q. I need Ice Q on my left. So I'm a bit in on like that. It's what we bring in the back though. Um, I think Azumarill makes a lot of sense. The Night Lego scares me, but I feel like we can wipe it out. It's just... Do we go Torkoal? Potentially. Did we just go Torkoal? Because Vino is good, but not without the sun. Rhyperia could win us. Yeah, I mean, Rhyperia is not... Actually, Rhyperia with the Metal Burst could win us game one. We can totally cheese game one. All things going well. So let's lock in. Let's go with our original strat. And see if it pays off here. Um, <clears throat> I did talk with Bebum before coming into this game. And he, was, he did say, maybe, maybe the Ice Cube Mimikyu could work game two. Maybe you go Sun Mode game one, but it's hat. It's hat and Grimmsnarl. Okay, well, that's that's super fine. Super fine, because we just go Iron Head. Weakness policy will get the hat. Um, reflect makes it a little bit more tricky. Um, we could just Iron Head and not Max here. That could be an option. Um, the only problem is we don't get our kind of protection up. And they got to worry about, like, us trick rooming on their trick room, which we could potentially do, you know? Ah, okay. We're going to restart because I locked in with Series 10 rules stupidly. So we're going to pick the same leads and we'll be right back. And Colin's been super cool about this. So Colin designed the rules, which is probably better for us. We're going to go in with exactly the same lead again. Uh, Colin's going to go with his same lead so we're all we're all good on that front. We're just going to jump in with the actual rules. So we should be pretty quick going into the first game here. Can't believe I just did that. Mimikyu, Ice Q, Torkoal. Uh, we picked Azumarill and Torkoal. Like I say, I'm in. I need to pick in the right order. The right order. We've got to get it right. And uh, we'll go straight into this game. So here we go. Right. This time, it's on like Donkey Kong. I wonder, is this the first time I've done this in the league? I think, I think the first time I've done it, I think. Not, it, it, everyone does it, right? It's been a long day. I had a, um, I normally cycle home on a Thursday, but my bike had a flat tire, so I decided to run home instead. I'm a mad man, completely mad. Um, but I think here, on a, uh, not to go off on a tangent, we go for the same play, but we actually Dynamax this time around, go for the Iron Head. And go for the drain punch. Get that weakness policy proc'd. Got to hope that we see something like no reflect here. And maybe a taunt into the ice cube. Because that will give us the kind of fuel that we need. Hat maxing or hat with the Berry. 
could be a little bit of an issue but the thing is we don't really have a steel type on our team so there's no real reason why you would need to tech for a babiru berry here um the defense boost definitely will help us out um let's see how much damage we can do to this hat because it is the hat that's going to max yep there we go and let's take double into mimikyu maybe don't know we're not going to have the trick room which is great so don't mind that uh eject button would be bad here from the grim snarl onto ice cube of course taunt okay that's what we like to see we want to see that that is perfect no 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 reflect so we get the drain punch we kind of don't need our ice face broken here uh to get the jump on um on hat but at the same time it gives us our weakness policy boost so that's kind of oh we don't get the weakness policy boost it it, it it actually oh my god i didn't even realize this mechanic okay that's that's not good okay the whole thing falls apart right here because our weakness policy just doesn't do anything uh we're screwed we're screwed g max might coming out it's gonna do a ton of damage oh my god it's life orbed we're screwed and we're confused oh my god and we can't get the drain punch off again can we no um huh oh my oh what have we done what have we done <laughs> what have we done what have we done what have we done it didn't work Ah, oh, the ice face protects our weakness policy hasn't even procced wait a minute i need to check i need to check have we got have we got weakness policy on there we have yeah i'm confused we need to get the um hmm 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 I mean, we're going to lose Ice Q here. We need to get... Um, I think we get Torkoal out onto the field. Yeah. That's all we can do. All we can do. And then we get Mimikyu back in. Uh, we can't trick, obviously, the uh, the hat. So, um, that that didn't work. I bet Colin's like, what was that? What what was that? What was that? Grim's not going out for later on this match, which is fine. Uh, Blastoise coming in. Okay, so that kind of works out all right for us, especially with the, the sun up. Hopefully, we can hit through the confusion here. We do manage to. So the defense boost is nice for Torkoal. We get that. Um, we do get the uh, defense boost for the the iron the, for the body press, which helps us out a bunch. Max Mindstorm coming out, gonna wipe us out. Yep. Okay. Well, Mimikyu can come in, get rid of the hat. Um, and we probably need to switch. Um, we need to switch Torkoal out, I think, into Azumarill. Um, yeah, we bring Mimikyu in. We still got a disguise. Okay, we need to lock into. I mean, the one thing we could potentially do, we could potentially lock into something like. Uh, trick get rid of our, our um get rid of our scarf but at this point i don't think it really matters we need to just go play rough into the hat and i mean we could go iron defense it's likely he's got <sighs> i mean we could go iron defense here i mean his water spout's probably not going to do a massive amount of damage body press will do a good chunk to to him in return um and we could just preserve everything and get Azumarill onto the field it's probably a better idea I worry now about like Nihiligo though that's the that's the big problem for us we don't want to lose Torkoal so freely here I can't believe that combination doesn't work oh my god that's terrible for us so we get the player rough off it does get the hat let's see what this Blastoise goes for probably a water spout maybe an icy wind potentially potential don't know don't know Scald into the Azu. Oh no, into the Mimikyu, breaking that disguise and getting the burn. Ah, that is not ideal. That's really not ideal. Now we do like for for Azumarill to win this, we we literally just need one Pokemon from Colin's side to go down, and then we can perish song. But this is not going to plan. Okay, so Grim Snarl coming in. Okay, I think what we'll do is we'll switch Torkoal in and we will 
I think we light screen here, you know. I think we got a light screen at this point. We might get faked out. But Mimikyu needs... To, I think we need to be able to utilize Trick later on in this game. Like, we could switch Mimikyu back in. Toko protected. Yawn coming out. That's fine. That's super fine. Get the light screen up. That's going to, like, make Mimikyu's life a little bit easier when it comes back onto the field. We can protect Toko this turn. Um... We could iron defense as well. It's probably not a bad idea to iron defense, to be honest. I mean, they can't taunt us, so we could take this opportunity to iron defense, especially with the light screen up. I think it's probably a good opportunity to do that. Get Mimikyu in, get rid of this choice scarf and disrupt something. The only issue will, will be right now is the yawn onto the Torko, which will make us switch it out. But again, it's not terrible. They go the Scald route. Okay, that's fine. Um, with the light screen up, we take that pretty well. Get the iron defense up, which is excellent. And we could trick room here as well. Spirit break. Yeah, we take that like an absolute champ. Okay. Defend. Oh no, special attack drops. That's alright though. We don't mind that too much. Trick room here is probably not too bad. Like, we could protect in trick room. And then we get a zoom roll onto the field. Um. I think we body press and we trick onto, do we trick room? I think we trick onto the Blastoise. Yeah, I think we trick the Blastoise because it's going to go yawn here, I think. Let's see what the Blastoise's item is because then if, if, if it is Yawn, then we can Trick Room the next turn. We get the eye Papa Berry, which is amazing for us. So yeah, they're going for the Yawn here, which is fine. We'll go for, I think, a Spirit Break into Mimikyu. We should take it. Body Press going to do some nice damage. And that Blastoise locked into Yawn, so that's all right. Yeah, we take it. Um, and we can get a play rough into the Grim Snarl. The eye Papa Berry helping us out a bunch here. Actually, we go for a Trick Room. Here and switch into uh, we switch Tokal out to a zoom roll and go trick room. That's what we do, and we are resetting our uh, defense boost. But it's kind of fine if we can guarantee the trick room going up. You know what I mean? So I think they just yawn into the Tokal slot though. Like if I'm like like honest with you, I think that's the play you do with. Because once uh, they can ta mm, they can taunt the Mimikyu, which is not ideal. If they taunt the Mimikyu here, we're in a bit of trouble. Because the Psychic Terrain's gone, so they've got that taunt where they can use. So they lock into Scald, which is fine. And just go Spirit Break, which is perfect. So that should... Oh, it doesn't. We don't get the trick room up. Oh, that is unfortunate. Okay, but we get Toko back onto the field now. They're locked into Scald, so we don't need to worry about Yawn. Um, and I think we just Heat Wave and play rough into the Grim Snarl. Play rough into the Grim Snarl, yeah. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm a bit curious about the recoil damage there from the Scald. Like... And there's the trick. So Grimstall has trick as well. Trick's lagging tail. Okay, it's got the Citrus Berry. There's the Yawn. Okay. Right, well, we uh, we kind of just need to get the Grim Snarl. That's what we need. Heat Wave coming out. Not doing a massive amount of damage. And there's a Citrus Berry, which is going to come in really useful. Uh, Alright, let's just reassess things here. Because I've obviously missed something. 
Um, I think with the yawn coming out onto the Torkoal, light screen wearing off. Um, I think they taunt the Azumarill here. And I think we just go for a heat wave. Because they could yawn us as well, which wouldn't be ideal. Yeah. If we can get rid of the Blastoise here, that would be amazing. Don't know if we're going to be able to. Is it enough? It's not quite enough. It's not enough. We're going to get yawned and Torkoal going to sleep now, which is not great. Um... I mean, what's better here is, is just play roughing into because we can't perish the thing is that the blastoise is going to knock itself out the next time it attacks right so i think we play rough into the grim snarl we ta we have to take the yawn um and we heat wave that's that i think that's the best if we can get rid of the grim snarl we take it down to two versus two yeah he does taunt us so we've got that to wear off but we're gonna yeah we can't get the perish off the next turn Okay, well, at least we've got one guaranteed turn with Azumarill the next turn. It comes down to what, what his last Pokemon is, you know? What is it? We haven't seen. Like, if it's an illegal, we're done for. We are done. Because I just don't, like, there's just no way. I, there's no way we can we can beat an illegal. Not with a sleeping Torkoal. Not even if we weren't. Yeah, it's not illegal. It's, uh, yeah, Colin's wrapped this up here. Okay. Um, I mean, yeah, we just have to go body press and, and play rough and hope Torkoal wakes up here. Hope that the Torkoal can wake up. It's like I say, if the Blastoise attacks, it knocks itself out. Meteor Beam, Torkoal's gone. Torkoal is gone. Yeah, there's no way we take this. Yeah. That's it. We got screwed over by the, the ice skew. It just didn't work. I'm kind of embarrassed by it, really. Yeah, there's no way we can survive that. Not in a million years. If we see a Scald here, that kind of helps us. But then again, like, there's nothing we can do against a Sludge Bomb uh, from Nihiligo. Just locking into Yawn. Doesn't want to go down. Let's see what a player rough does. Very minimal damage. Very minimal. Yeah. And that's it. That's it. That is game. Colin's locked this one up. Okay, well... Hmm. <laughs> not the best of starts for us now. Not the best of starts. Especially with the ice skew. Uh, the weakness policy. So the ice face. Blocking the, the weakness policy. Like, if we got that... Hat wouldn't have went down, I don't think. But it would have been in range to go down the next turn. So ice skew sticks around, you know? Uh, play with the same rules. So we'll go into game two. We'll see if we can uh, we can pull this pull this one back because we need we need to we need to. I think we need to readdress what we're doing here. A um, hundred percent. I don't think we can we can kind of freely do. Well, we did game one, and the problem is, I think. I don't want to lead Venu. Like, I worry about the Venu lead. Like, just because the Zapdos and this hat. Like, we already kind of discussed that. I think... Maybe Mimikyu, Rhyperia could work. Could potentially work. It's just kind of taunt bait, isn't it? That's the only issue. Um, whereas Venusaur, we haven't got the Papaya... Payapa Berry, and we got no Scrafty to switch in for the, the big psychic attack. Um, hmm. We need a light screen up. That would that would help us a bunch. Um, Ice Q's no good here, I don't think. Ice Q's just no good. I think Metal Burst would, would be a big play for us here, I think, potentially. But we I think we have to lead... Mimikyu in the back. Uh, Mimikyu and then go Torkoal, Azumarill. Yeah. Uh, it just feels very difficult. Again, not bringing the Venu. 
But I think that tall call Azumarill in a trick room can work for us. I think in that, that last game it can work for us. But it's it's kind of about getting the trick room up to support everything. Yeah, he just leads the same. We have to lead differently. Okay, well. He can fake us out. He can lag and tail us as well. But I think you've got to taunt the Mimikyu, right? We don't necessarily need the trick room up. The one thing we can do is go... We can go for... Um, I wonder what... Let me just see what Metal Burst damage is. Power 100. Ooh. But we're better off going Max Quake, to be honest. We're better off going Max Quake here. Um, and then switching in to something like... Oh, we could go Max Quake. We could double up into the, uh, the Grim Snarl, to be honest, you know. Gotta be quick. Oh, uh, uh. I went play rough into the hat, and that's not exactly what I really wanted to do. We want to double up and get rid of the Grim Snarl. Because that taunt, lag and tail, everything like that is a bit annoying. We're going to see the GMAX Smite come out here. we just got to hope that Rhyperia can kind of carry us through. Blastoise is going to be annoying, but I mean, we do have Torkoal to kind of come in and help us out there. I just feel like this has gone from, like, bad to worse. In the hat, I have no idea what speed it is, you know? So, we will, we will we will soon find out. We know it's got Psychic or Psyshock. We know it's got um, Dazzling Gleam. But we don't know much outside of that. And we know it's got the Life Orb. There's a Taunt. That makes sense. And we totally just mis misclicked our targets here. Player off. I mean, it does a decent chunk of damage, right? It does a decent chunk. And we've got the wrong item on Mimikyu as well. So, uh, that's down to myself. I should have checked that. I should have checked that before coming into the battle. It should be Scarf. So the, the life orb is no good. Um, yeah. Max overgrowth. Not ideal. We should take it. Should we? Oh my god. 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 So much damage. So much damage. Oh, okay. Well, we can double into the hat this next turn. Uh... I mean, the one thing that the Grimmsnarl could potentially do is go Lagging Tail into Rhyperia. Potentially. And that me and then protect the hat. Because I think a Max Quake and... Yeah, Max Quake. And a Play Rough will get it. We'll get it, 100%. Um, whereas we could... We could... E e it's tricky though, because if we max guard here, we just allow something else to kind of come in. Um... I think we double into the hat, because we could max guard the next turn. Yeah, they're going to do the, the lag and tail play. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Mimikyu. Oh, I don't mind that. I really don't mind that. But then... Yeah, we can't... Okay. That's that's not so bad. That's... Yeah. I mean, the lagging tail on Mimikyu is not so bad. I would have... It would have been way worse on the on the right period. Um, so what we could do is max guard here, I think. Max guard and go for that play rough. Actually, we could potentially trick the lagging tail back onto the Grim Snarl, but it's kind of, it's not really ideal, is it? I think we just play rough the hat. And then the next turn we can potentially get a trick room up. Yeah, they're going Spirit Break. G-Max Smite, it makes sense to do that. Breaking our disguise. We've got to get through the, the confusion now, of course. Come on, hit this player off. We need it to hit. We need it to hit. We need it to hit. 
we do hit. That's brilliant. We get enough damage onto it. Okay. So our high horsepower likely going to be able to... Well, high horsepower will get the knockout onto, onto the hat the next turn. And we can potentially go for the trick room if we want. Um... Because I think that sets us up for the late game, the trick room. If we can get the trick room, although I see kind of taunt coming out from, from Grimmsnarl for sure. Okay, right. Let's see what we can do, what we can do, what we can do. I don't think a spirit break. Does a spirit break take Rhyperia down? Potentially. Potentially we can't, well, we can't do anything. I think we have the high horsepower. Um... I don't know if I want a trick room. Well, I know if we trick room, then then Torkoal can come in. Then Torkoal can come in, and Torkoal should be should be fine. Yeah, so we trick room. I'm gonna be hitting last anyway with Mimikyu, so it makes no odds. It really doesn't make any difference. Yeah, the Torn coming out, which makes sense, just to stop that trick room play. We just gotta hope that a high horsepower we can hit, and it does enough. We hit. Is it enough? It should be. Yeah, okay. Okay. Right. I think the big key here is, is preserving something like... Um, the problem is Nihiligo coming in now, you know? Uh, because it can meet your beam. And I would worry about picking the knock about onto the Rhyperia. Just getting that free hit onto... Like, the double up into Rhyperia is, like, really, really bad. Really bad. Yeah. Like, what does he do? Does he go for... I think you've got to double up into... Like, do you go for the free free boost into Mimikyu and get rid of it? Or do you go double up into Rhyperia? Like, I think with how much of a threat Rhyperia is, I think you don't really worry about that too much. I think we can just play rough into... Grimmsnarl? Yeah, I think we Grimmsnarl it. I think we got play rough into Grimmsnarl. We've got to hope we get the Protect. Come on, Rhyperia. We get the Protect. That's great news for us. We need this play rough from Mimikyu. Goes Grass Knot. Okay, so no Meteor Beam just yet. Spirit Break into Mimikyu. Yep. Yep. Okay. If we can get rid of the Grimmsnarl here, it makes things life a lot easier for us. Because then we got the Perish that we can't... Okay. And now we lose Mimikyu to, um, to another Spirit Break. Hmm. The Grass Knot's not ideal. Not one little bit. Hmm. The, th the one thing that we could do here is call his bluff and say you're not gonna grass you're gonna go after the Mimikyu now with the meteor beam knowing that the Rhyperior is in such a bad position and we get the high horsepower off into it and that will lock the game for us I think we switch into Torko now if we lose Rhyperior here it's game because I think you get the beast boost and we can't we can't handle the Nihiligo so it's whether or not he calls us making a play to switch the Rhyperior out here because we know the the, the 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 grass not such a threat. Nah, he just goes for it. Okay, yeah, the beast boost coming in. Yeah, okay. That is a shame. That is a shame. Yeah, because that special attack boost is just yeah, it's too much. Too much. And the only thing that can really deal with. Um. The Nihiligo is Torko really... I mean, we can perish, but at the same time... Okay, well... We double protect here, because we kind of want to want to block the Meteor Beam, right? Protect and protect. The only thing we could potentially do is is re make a call, and I feel like we're at this position in the game now where we have to make a call potentially, where we perish song, and we protect, and we hope that they go after. The only thing is, do they just taunt Azumarill? 
potentially. Let's go after Grimmsnarl. Let's just play rough it. Let's just protect Torkoal. And let's see where we can go from there. Because it's going to taunt. Taunt is coming out, I think, from Grimmsnarl to shut the, the Parish down. Yeah. And I think you go after you go after Torkoal here. Hopefully you go after Torkoal. If you don't, then we're screwed. We're screwed. You get the boost. Yeah, they go after. Okay. We might be able to get rid of the Grim Snow. Which we, we yeah, we Oh my god, it survives. It survives. It survives. Um oh this is yeah, we're done. We're done. It's done now because we can't we literally can't do anything. I mean, we can switch Mimikyu in, sack Mimikyu for Torkoal, but the Nihiligo gets another boost. It's just, it's done. We made a bit of a bold call at a point with the Rhyperia, and I think we had to do it. Like, we had to, um, and we didn't have to. We could have switched in Azumarill with a Sap Sipper. It would have been a, a free switch in for us, but at the same time, um, it's just, just how it goes. If you're relying on Sludge Bomb, though, if you haven't got Power Gem, then maybe there's a small chance that Torko could potentially do this. Potentially, it it re okay. Grimmsnarl going down to the life orb damage. We'll get a bit of play rough damage into the Nihiligo. The thing is, we lose the zoom roll. So if this last one is um, last choice again, it's it's tough because the sun's going to run out soon. And we can't protect Azumarill. So Nihiligo just attacks into that slot. You fake out uh, into the Torkoal. That's oh, Turtonate. No, no, it's not. It's Blastoise. Yeah, Blastoise. And fake out. Fake out Torkoal. Sludge Bomb Azumarill. Um, and I mean, we can... Yeah, we can't even... We can't... Literally cannot do anything. Can't do anything. I mean, we can play her up into the Blastoise. We can try a body press into the Nihiligo in case they don't fake us out. But yeah, they've got it. Yeah, it's locked. It's locked. And that's it. I mean, it, it depends. Like, if the sun runs out here, which does it? Uh, probably does. Probably does. Probably does. Yeah, I mean, has he got Power Gem? Probably not. Yeah, we've still got the sun up, but the skulls are going to be the, the problem for us. We need to body press the Nihiligo here. But he could easily just click the protect button and scald. You know, it's as simple as that. And then we aren't being Blastoise out of the sun. No, and that does nothing. So, we are... We are the losers this week. Well done to Colin. Good games, Colin. Uh, very well prepared. I think uh, we had the wrong item on Mimikyu, which is... <laughs> really frustrating in a way um to realize that uh and i'm not making excuses and we got the com the mechanics completely wrong with ice skew so that's super embarrassing but it happens right it just got to hold my hands up and say i should have tested it before coming into this match check out colin's side of the field that's two losses in two weeks for us on the channel uh with the x9 league it's not great we got one more week left so there is still hope for us going up against necro next week so it's not going to be an easy one but uh raw's going to be a great uh wait for us to wrap up the x9 league if that is the way it goes but big congrats to colin uh as as i've said many times throughout this video and a phenomenal player so i can't take too much um be too sad about losing uh he's, he's quality player and i'm really happy that he's got the win and he's pulling pulling himself back into this draft league because he had a few bumpy bumpy matches to begin with and it uh, looks like he's coming back really strong which you would expect him to do so good luck in the rest of the tournament colin thank you so much for the game make sure you guys at home check out his side of the battle and uh, i'll catch you all for another video very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye